What's up, everybody? So, as y'all see, I got all my toys out here. There's a few that um, aren't, unfortunately, and I'll get to that in a minute. But I'm going to cold start each and every one of these. You can see here. Now, some of these have not been running in three months, and some of them have been running last week or yesterday. But, uh, so let's, let's get started. Uh, if there's one oddball, it's probably that John Deere, because that's the only one that I have. And, why, and you're probably thinking, well, wouldn't that toy build be one too? Well, no, actually, I have another one, but it's not here right now. So, uh, that Craftsman have another one here, but it doesn't run, so. And uh, actually, I do. That's a Craftsman Rototiller. So, let's get started. Uh, we're going to do uh, two strokes first, and then we're going to, well, now we're going to do handheld two strokes, then we're going to do four strokes, and then we're going to do these two strokes. All of these right here, all six of them are two strokes. So, hey Murphy, let's get started. Alright, first one we're going to do is a 2012 home light chainsaw. It's 14 inch, it's got a 33cc engine on it. I got this for free not too long ago. Uh, the guy was just getting rid of it and the carburetor on it needed to be adjusted. But other than that, it was fine. The chain on it needs to be sharpened a little bit or replaced, but... I'm not gonna worry about it right now. It runs okay. It needs the carburetor just a little bit more, but it does a good job when it works. So we're gonna prime it. Probably more than enough. Joke. It's on. Let's see what happens. So, next one. Next one is a 2009 home light yard broom. Bought this for $20 at a yard sale. Like most home lights, the carburetor needed to be adjusted, so used a little screwdriver and it got it running pretty good. Just replaced the primer bulb on it yesterday and it started up on the second pull after sitting for about two months. So, this is a good little blower. All right, we'll put it on shove, turn it on, power it three times. This should be uh, second or third pole. These two um, are electric, but they're both very dear to me because I've had these for years. This chainsaw we've had since I was four, and that leaf bar we've had since I was in first grade. Both of them have worked flawlessly ever since. 
just put a new chain on this this year. And I need it's bar, but let's go ahead and hit it here. This hasn't got a lot of power for it being uh, electric. Now this one, I gotta show y'all something on this one. I don't know how well y'all can see this, but my dogs, every time I turn this on, my dogs go crazy and they bite the end of it. So, it it's a little chewed up, but it doesn't hurt the performance of this blower. This has a sensor right here, so it wasn't on, but here we go. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, still worked great. Has a bit more power than some gas blowers that I've seen this, uh, the, around its kind, so it, it's a really, really good blower. So, all right, let's go to the next one. All right, this weird blower is a model 2540. This was the last thing that my great grandfather gave to me before he passed away back in the beginning of 2019. And it works pretty good. It's a little underpowered compared to the home light blower, but it still works good. So, this is the first speed. That's all the electric ones. Now compared to the home light, this one's a bit more quiet. Tell me what you all think in the comments. This one, I believe it's from the 90s. It's a home light feather light SST 25HO. Got this for free from my friend. Found these in the trash, along with a crappy home light drummer that needed a new motor. And uh, this one my backup weeder when I'm mowing lawns. Now there is one piece of equipment here that is used constantly out of any of these machines, so I'll get to it, get to it in a minute, but this one has been running a long time and I don't run it without the air filter, but this was, the choke on it is just floppy. It doesn't want to stay, so. Next piece. All right, this is my 2019 Echo SRM 225. Got this last year after my Toro trimmer took a crap from my local Echo dealer. This is the best weeder I've ever had, and I hope it stays that way. It's starting to show some wear on it because it, it is used quite a lot, but uh. Good trimmer, and I like. I really like it. Actually, around the time I need to do my service on it, so we're gonna might do a video on that. Who knows? All right. This has been starting probably probably about a week. But.
go. And I won't use anything else besides that. Other than, uh, other than like, Still and Makita, that's all I will really ever use, so. Alright, let's get to the next one. You all have seen this before. Echo sent me this blower uh, in a, not too long ago, but been using it. It's the Echo PB580T. They sent me in this because I did a review on my trimmer. So, let's see how it starts. I've been starting in a few days, but it has gotten really cold, so. Up next will be the first mower. Next mower, 2017 Troy Built TB230, 21 inch self propelled front wheel drive. Bought this brand new in the spring of 2017. That was because the craftsman that we had before this uh, blew a rod, so we said screw it, we're buying this, and it's treated us well ever since. So, let's see if we'll start. Full start on it broke, and I haven't ordered a new one yet, so... Now we're gonna do the next one. This is a 1991 or 92. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's a John Deere 14 SB, five horsepower Kawasaki FC 150V, self-propelled. It's got the blade engagement clutch feature. This is a very high quality mower back in its time, back in the 90s. These were almost as good as Lawn Boys, but um, you know those two strokes uh they're uh they're good so we're gonna see how it starts has been running probably a few months so choke this one usually starts first pull
in a while. Probably two months since this one's last run. But not bad, not bad. This is one of my favorites. It's a 1998 Craftsman 22 inch front wheel drive. Six and three quarter horsepower Tecumseh Acre One. This one I got for free. The motor was on it was filled with water and uh, the carburetor needed to be cleaned, but other than that, it fried right up. I don't have a bag for this, but I have a multi plug. This one is a little hard starting, but it runs really well when it does run, so. Make sure we have enough gas. Oh, yeah, plenty. I used this thing last week to mow a lawn, so. This one sounds like it has, has a knock on it, but it it just sounds like that, and it, it's got plenty of power, so I know it's not the engine. So. That might have been not too many, but we'll see. Other than that, runs great. One up. 1969 Craftsman Tiller. It's got a two horse bridge of Stratton, and it's not self propelled. It's front time, so let's see what happens. Let's see if there's enough gas. Sorry. This has got a really small tank. Yeah. Let's splash a little gas. Got a little bit left, so gotta make a count. Just a, just a, that little bit pulled it pulled it up. So this was running last week when I. Uh, Broke up some of the ground that was over here behind the hot tub. that these older Briggs and Strattons that you know they're it's tripping but it's amazing that these old engines they just run so well but this one was taken care of so that's why it was it runs so nicely but yeah second pull not bad this is the oldest mower that I have it's a 1970 Longboy 5269 
This has a magnesium deck, as you'll tell. This deck isn't in the best shape because it is, it's cracked over by this wheel here, but uh, the rest of the deck is good, but it does need to be fixed. So, this is a very hard starting mower. Uh, turn the gas on. This has not been started. This is the longest one that's been sitting. So, it'll be interesting to see how well it starts. If it doesn't start well, then we'll we'll try and drill start it, but might get lucky. Uh, comment a few times. This acts as an off and on switch as well. Whoa! All right, that's, it's never done that before. Yeah, you see, this pull start is screwed up. Yep. Come on. You see why this is a hard starting mower? And I don't know why it is. Socket real quick. I hope I got enough juice, but let's try it. did okay so let's get the next one 1980 one boy 7268 this is a promotional sales one with the yellow top on it this was free uh, the guy was just getting rid of it and nothing was wrong with it it did however need new white wheels because it didn't have them it had some off-branded wheels that weren't they were just plastic pieces of crap so I got these we're gonna uh, see how this thing starts. This one usually is my best, best mower, it's my favorite one. So, uh, actually, got gas in here. That's why that's my favorite one. This next, all right, all right. So this next one's kind of weird. It's a lawn boy. It's got an F engine on it. I believe four horsepower, 21 inch deck. But this one 
it's got an electric start on it, and that's it. And the electric start doesn't work, so that's why I have the drill for that purpose. But uh, this one's been sitting for about a month and a half. I'm gonna see how well it starts. Uh, fill up the bowl there, probably a few times. See how well it does. I didn't have the fuel unconnected. Uh, I'm gonna have to let my battery charge in my DeWalt drill. So we'll come back to this one after we finish these other three here. This is a Lawn Boy Gold Series. Uh, I think it's a four and a half horsepower F engine. It's got the three speed transmission. This one has been running since yesterday. I was using it on my lawn, so it, it should start right up. No primer, just choke. You can always rely on. All right, we're gonna try this again. Um, last time my uh, camera died, so um, we're gonna resume the video. Uh, my battery on my Dewalt gun charged, so we're gonna see if the uh, odd lawn boy will fire up for us. Make sure the fuel valve's on. High speed. Five up three times. All right, here we go.
was real hard to start, but at least it fired up. All right, let's see what we have to do now. This one is a 1996 10304 Silver Series. It's got a four and three quarter horsepower V engine. I got this for free and I rebuilt the carburetor and installed a new throttle cable. This one runs pretty well and it should be a first pull start. Oh wait, got one thing. The uh, kill switch on it doesn't work so I gotta use a pair of vice grips to keep it down. not the original primer. I did not put this on here. It was on here already, but I'm going to change that shortly. Right. Plugs in. Down. This is a little loose, so it might make a little noise when I first start it. show you why it's because of this um, the exhaust that's on it Ugh. it's got the mulching fan on it this one is really it's pretty good at mulching leaves so but this one has a small gas leak as you all can see it had a full tank Wednesday and then it all leaked out by like I don't know it must have been Saturday morning yesterday something like that I don't know but uh yeah, this one, I like this one, it's a, uh, this is my, actually, the first V engine I really messed with, Every, it's my first self-propelled one, the other two that I had uh, were non-self-propelled, I think they were the 10201 series, so, alright, y'all know and love this one, it's the 10323 from 2003, or 2001, one of those two. This was one of the most powerful lawn boys that was ever made by Marine Outboard Corporation. The key thing to that keeps these mowers running is keeping the gas mixed right and you know just taking care of it. You know, just don't be hard on it. Grease the stuff with pellet on it. This thing will, these things will be your best friend. You know that. That's a ninety. That's a. Mm, that's a ninety-three or ninety-four. That's an eighty-six. That's an eighty, and that's a seventy. So. Do I go in here? No, it's just one. But uh, this is a ninety-six. That makes this twenty-four years old. This is a nineteen-year-old. That's in its thirties. That's in his 30s as well. Well, no, that, that's in his 20s. That's in his 30s. That one's 40, and that one's 50. And that thing is 51, if you count that as old. But uh, This one is usually really easy to start, so I think I can just do this one-handed. Uh, I used it yesterday to mulch up some leaves. We've got plenty of gas for it to run. Uh... Probably works really good on this one. Choke. See if I can do this one handed. Yeah. Nope. I 
we ought to be spewing out and stuff. this thing is that the float will stick after you're, you're done using it and it'll leak the gas onto the cylinder. Now the reason it, these are allowed to do that is because the gas and oil is supposed to mix so it's actually doing some good but it's wearing out the seal for the muffler and you all saw how it was just spewing, puking out of oil and gas out of here so it's just not the best to do that, but if it, it's okay that it does. It's not like a four stroke. If the gas mixes in with the oil, it's gonna blow up, but with this, it's just gonna smoke a whole bunch. But that's why it was hard to start because there was just, it was flooded basically. You gotta, I'm gonna have to add a fuel shutoff switch on that, on this one, as well as that one. You know, the, the only ones that actually have a shutoff switch are these right here. All these, and these two don't for some reason. But that John Deere does as well, and I'll show you all it. This shut off switch right here. This is turning off for gas, and this is when you want gas going to the carb. Then, uh, that one, I don't know. That one really doesn't have a gravity fed. It's, it's sucked up, really. But, uh, yeah. So, guys, um, that's it for the, today's video. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the coal starts. I know how much you guys love these lawn boys. I mean, I did a video on my 10515. You all really seem to like it. So um, I hope that you all liked this video. Uh, couldn't get the old 50-year-old going right, but um, that's all right. We'll get it going next time. But everything else seemed to be starting pretty good. So... Alright guys, see you on the next one. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Go follow me on Instagram at jetsonsholton04 and my lawn maintenance uh, account called JT's Lawn Maintenance 18. See you guys later.